world is beautiful and vast with so much to offer. So we decided to take a 10 day ambitious road trip. We started our trip in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Alberta, Canada. And we made our way through the beautiful mountains of British Columbia. From there, we took a train to Washington, Seattle, where Starbucks was born, through Oregon State, where it's lush and green, in through Northern California, where you got some of the tallest trees in the world, lakes as blue as the eye can see, with views that can inspire you, going south through the Golden State, where some of the most innovative bridges were born, sunsets that can take your breath away, and taking some of the gorgeous coast drives on our way to LA, where the sun is always shining. The world is our oyster and we just have to explore it. Hey, hell yeah. Alright, a little, uh, little ways to our uh, place, Alamo, or a car rental. It's not too bad. It's uh, you know, it's not it's not Canada right now temperatures, but you know it's a little warmer. You ready? So are you ready? You ready? Pick up our car. It's a nice little walk uh, for morning, anyways, considering we're gonna be driving all day. If it was so cloudy, we'd be able to see Mount Olympus somewhere down there. But uh, of course, we're blessed with continuous, never ending fog. It blots out any beauty there is besides the town. Okay, fingers crossed, Ferrari convertible. So we got a Jeep, Cherokee, leather interior with the sunroof, the guy hooked it up. Yeah, you have to put it in drive. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You drive this? It stops for a second, but nice. it's crazy. I don't, I don't even Thank understand. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Later. It probably needs to go back to LA. Are you sure you're okay to drive a big vehicle like so? Yeah. I'm afraid for us. Stop it. Oh my god. Stop, why would you stop? <laughs> okay, so we're going from SeaTac, right by the SeaTac Airport, which is south of uh, Seattle, to Portland, Oregon. We're excited. Quick fact, Tacoma was actually named from a mountain east of here called Mount Rainier. Originally this mountain was called Tahoma. Toyota built a car off this and they called it the Toyota Tacoma. And this is actually where they derived their inspiration.
So as you can see, Washington is such a beautiful state. A few more interesting facts I found, which was it's one of the number one producers for apples, pears, raspberries, and cherries. The state has more glaciers than all the states combined. It's the only state to be named after a president. Obviously a nature lover's paradise. The state has five major volcanoes, including one of them being Mount Rainier. have cooling vents. getting around. interesting facts about Portland, Oregon. It's actually got more microbreweries than any other city, so if you like beer, this is probably where you want to be. Also, largest, most populous city in Oregon State. It's got a population of 650,000 plus. It's the 25th most populous city in the USA.
few interesting facts about Eugene Springfield. This is the birthplace of Nike, the hometown of where the Simpsons were inspired from. And the University of Oregon actually has Donald Duck as a mascot. Now, as you can see, uh, Oregon is a very beautiful state. It's green, it's lush, it's vibrant, it's colorful. Interesting enough, Oregon has the most ghost towns of any state. Now, we really would like to come back, but one thing that we did have planned that we didn't get a chance to do, and if you do get a chance, I highly recommend you go check out Crater Lake, which is one of the deepest lakes in the USA, and it's actually formed of an ancient volcano. All right, we're heading on from Eugene Springfield all the way down to Myrtle Creek. Storm clouds all around. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain. Crater Lake I was talking about, you would get off here and head towards east and this would get you to Crater Lake. Okay, I'd totally love to retire here. Look at that blue building. That's a retirement home. <laughs> Across the way, you got a casino and beautiful scenery. What more can you ask for? Maybe we should consider going to the casino. Alright, on to Grants Pass, which is the cross section between going east and west. We're going west. Oregon. 
look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Picturesque. Man, they weren't joking about Sunny Valley. I definitely had their sign eyes. so we got to make a move but we're going from Grants Pass to Redwood National Park area where we'll plan to stay for the night. McKinleyville. Actually no wait this is Grants Pass sorry <laughs> we're going to McKinleyville. It is uh, it's a gorgeous place. Small town but picturesque as hell. Sun peering over the mountains over there. Everybody knows everybody's name. I saw you from the distance. Yeah, this is quite
So we ended up at the Holiday Inn Express, right by the Redwoods. It's decent, it's got a gym. It's got a casino, literally, right beside it. Not that we're gonna play, but uh, worked out. All right, big day tomorrow, uh, pun intended. We'll be seeing some of the tallest trees in the world, uh, the Redwood National Park area, which they call the Avenue of the Giants. And from there, heading southeast through Sacramento, which is the capital of California. And then making our way further east to the mountains where Lake Tahoe resides, where it would be breathtaking views all over. Till tomorrow, signing out from Redwood National Park, Northern California. If you did enjoy our video, please give us a like as we'd appreciate it. It helps build our channel.